Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send text notifications or SMS from your Node MCU or ESP8266 development board using an API service provided by us at Circuit Digest. Yes, you hear that right. With this API service, you'll be able to send sensor values directly from your Node MCU board as a text message or even send alert messages when something is triggered. And all of that without using any other external hardware, you'll just be needing this Node MCU board and few lines of code and you can achieve that. So let me show you how to do that and let's get started. Okay, now let's start with the hardware side of the project. All you need is a Node MCU development board. I am using this one, which is a Node MCU ESP8266 development board. You can obviously follow this with ESP32 or any other development board which has Wi Fi support, and the code will be slightly different. But if you have a Node MCU development board or an ESP8266, you can just directly follow along with this tutorial. What I'm going to do is just connect this development board to my computer using this uh, programming cable and then directly start with the programming. Okay, so we have our Arduino IDE opened over here and this is where we're going to write our code. But before we do that, we have to get into Circuit Digest Cloud and create an account and sync our mobile number so that we'll be able to send SMS to that particular mobile number. How you can do that is uh, search for Circuit Digest Cloud and the first link will take you to the website. Now we have many APIs available on Circuit Digest Cloud, but what we are interested for this tutorial is the SMS notification API. You can click on read more and go through the complete documentation that is provided to understand how exactly to use this API service. But if you're not interested, you can just follow along the tutorials because I'm going to show you exactly that. Now, If you're a new user, make sure to log in. You can either log in with your existing account or create a new account. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to create a new account. So once you've created an account, you can get into my account and here you will be asked to solve a CAPTCHA so that you can get an API key. So your API key is a confidential information. You can use this API key to access the services provided by Circuit Digest Cloud. I'm just going to solve this CAPTCHA here real quick. So this is my API key, uh, obviously I'm not going to disclose it here, you shouldn't also disclose it. So once you get your API key, you can use it for 100 API calls as you use it. You can see this number getting incremented. Uh, out of 100 means you can send up to 100 SMS per month. After each month, this will automatically get updated to zero again. So once you get your API key, you have to link the phone numbers with your account. So only if you link a phone number to your account, you will be able to send SMS to that number. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to link my own phone number. Uh, it should always start with 91, meaning you can use this service only for mobile numbers within India. At the time of doing this tutorials, we support only sending SMS within India. If you're outside India, let us know from which country you are and maybe we'll try adding that country as well. So let me quickly give my number and solve the CAPTCHA here again and click on get OTP and it says an OTP will be sent to so and so number press OK to enter the OTP press OK an OTP has been sent to this number press OK and enter the OTP so this is where we have to enter the OTP let me quickly show you my mobile phone screen as well so you can see that I have received a message saying 4226 is your one time OTP for registering with Circuit Digest Cloud so I'm just gonna enter it here and verify OTP and once that is done successfully, you'll be able to see your phone number that is linked with your account. So this means you'll be able to send SMS to this phone number and that's what we're gonna do exactly in this tutorial. Now let's start programming with our or Reno ID, the first thing we should do is add the required libraries. So how this is going to work is we're going to connect to the internet and then use this API call to send an SMS. So first thing, let me include all the required libraries. And after that, we have to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to use my Wi-Fi credentials. 
So this is my SSID and this is my password for the Wi-Fi network here. Obviously, you have to change it to suit your Wi-Fi network's SSID and password. Next thing, what we need is the API key, which we just got from Circuit Digest Cloud. So I'm going to paste it here. So this is my API key. Obviously, I'm not going to disclose it. So you can get your API key from this section over here. Once you're done with the API key, you have to understand this section so which talks about template id the mobile number to which you have to send the sms and two variables so in order to explain this let me quickly open the documentation which i showed you earlier so you won't be able to send any random text messages in order to prevent spam there is a regulation on what you can actually send and that detail is given over in the documentation here obviously i'll give a link for this in the description as well so these are the message templates which you'll be able to send and each message has a template id right now there are 15 template ids and 15 different messages which you can send each for a different purpose and if you take a closer look in each message you can see that you can pass two variables let's say you want to share your sensor values then you can use this template which says device status alert so the template id for that is 101 you can say your temperature sensor is currently at 23.5 degrees celsius so you can pass temperature sensor as a variable here and 23.5 degrees celsius as the second variable here and irrespective of what sensor you're using you can obviously tweak it to send different values so i'm going to use this template for the sake of this demonstration but you can read through all other templates which are available here and use anything of your choice so let me quickly come over here and change the template id to 101 so this is my phone number to which the message will be sent and for variable one i'm gonna say the temperature sensor and for variable 2, I'm going to say it has reached about 30.5 degree C. So this is the variable value that we're going to pass. And this is the mobile number to which we're going to send the SMS. And this is the template ID. Now, after that, inside the void setup function, what we're going to do is we're going to initiate serial monitor so that we can actually see what's happening in our code at 11.5200 baud rate and then we are going to set up a Wi-Fi connection then we are going to get connected to the Wi-Fi and print connected once we are successfully connected to the Wi-Fi and then we are going to use a function called send SMS now the definition for this function is not made yet so let me quickly copy paste the definition which I have already written so this is the send SMS function. Let me quickly explain what's happening here. So first thing we are making sure that the Wi-Fi is connected and then we are doing a certification validation to make sure that we'll be able to send HTTPS calls. And then we are going to use this API URL to speak with Circuit Digest Cloud and the template ID is received from this variable which we have already updated. And then we are going to make sure that the API key authorization is passed and then here is the payload which consists of the mobile number and the two variables which we have passed earlier. Now you don't have to modify any of these all you have to do is modify these uh, two variables in real time and then use this send SMS call to send that particular message from this template ID. Now if everything is done, you will get a serial response saying SMS sent successfully. If something goes wrong, if your mobile number is wrong or if your template ID is wrong, you will also get error response code printed on the serial monitor. If the Wi-Fi is not connected, then it will also give that response on the serial monitor. So this is the code. Everything is pretty simple. Let me quickly upload this code and show you how I am receiving the message on my mobile phone. Now before I go ahead and click upload, I'm going to make sure that I have selected the right COM port and the right development board. If you're completely new to NodeMCU boards, I would suggest that you follow the tutorial given at the link in the description. But I have already set everything correct. My board is in USB 0001. Let me quickly check that. Now here I have selected my board as ESP 12E node MCU and the port to which my development board is connected is USB serial 001 obviously it will change for you. Now once that is verified I'm going to click on upload and here you can see that my code is getting uploaded. 
So once it's uploaded, I'm going to quickly open the serial monitor to see what is happening. It is saying connecting to Wi-Fi and then it's connected. And if the SMS is sent successful, I'll get SMS sent successfully. And you can see on my mobile phone that I have received a new message from CP Semcon. So this is the address from which you will receive the message. And it says device status alert. Your temperature sensor is currently at 30.5 degrees Celsius, which is exactly what we gave here. So temperature sensor is the first variable and 13.5 degrees Celsius is the second variable, both of which has been updated over here. Now on the serial monitor also you can see that your response is uh, to this mobile number for this template ID and there is no error and the status is success. So if you get this it means your SMS is sent successfully. So that's it guys this is how easy it is now to send SMS for your IoT projects. I hope this will be useful for you in building more interesting IoT projects. Obviously you can follow this same API for your Raspberry Pi, for your ESP32, for your Arduino Uno R4 and any other development board out there which has access to Wi-Fi. If you want me to make a dedicated tutorial for a specific development board let me know in the comments section and I'll try building it. Until then this is Ashwin signing off. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.